and welcome back to my channel, Drunk Crafts with Paige. I am Paige, and this week I am drinking my Moscow Mule out of an actual copper cup. I got some of these off my wedding registry, and now I can drink them out of the cups they're supposed to be drank out of. Our painting this week, we are going to be using techniques both old and new. We are going to be doing a strainer pour, which is something we've done before. However, we'll be using a strainer we have not yet used, so I guess that is also new. But I also wanted to try painting on a tilted canvas. I have seen people pour on a canvas that is slightly elevated to one side, and that just allows the paint to flow in a more specific direction. I thought we would do both things today and see what kind of painting we come up with. And if you are curious as well, please continue watching. It's very hard to tell from above, but this side of the canvas is raised, so our paint hopefully is going to go in this direction. So I plan on putting our strainer like right here, kind of on the edge, so, or maybe even a little bit more. It's about three quarters of the way on the canvas, and all the paint's going to tilt this way, and we're going to see what comes out with all these different lines and holes in the strainer. Now the colors I picked are kind of, they're like primary colors. <laughs> We've got our white to throw in randomly. Also red, yellow, green, and blue. And we're gonna go in mostly rainbow order to avoid any secondary colors from coming together and making like a gross color combination. We are gonna start out, I think I am gonna go ahead and start out with just a little bit of white. Just at the start. And then, yeah, like I said, we're gonna go in rainbow order. And I'm gonna pause a little bit between layers so you can kinda see it start to, start to flow. And then our yellow. Ooh, this strainer makes things look crazy. Or I guess that's really just kind of the lines on the side of it. And now our green. Throw some more white in here as well. And we're gonna repeat the whole thing over again, starting with red. Looks like our last color, this white, is starting to show through now. And we're almost to the edge of the canvas. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up. And 
and we are just going to go ahead and kind of regularly tilt our canvas around. Remove these little stands. Make sure all the edges have some color and then we're gonna hit it with the heat gun. So this strainer kind of ended up and doing it in layers like that we've got a lot of like lines going on although because we stacked the paint on top of each other like an open cut pour we have a whole lot of cells and colors within colors within colors it's kind of cool interesting combination of having the strainer as well as having it tilt as we were pouring yeah, pretty cool. I'm excited to show you guys up close some of these itty bitty cells that are within the colors. Now it is time to just let this one dry and we will come back to it. Once it's dry, I like to give it a nice gloss varnish and then we'll take a close look at it. Our painting is totally dry. Uh. Whoa. Our painting is dry and I gave it a nice healthy coat of gloss on top. So let's take a look at it and talk about it. So here is our finished piece. The colors just really make me think of like elementary school, like primary kind of colors. <laughs> but we've got all these interesting kind of stripes going on, which is the design from the strainer because we had it tilted this way. So as the paint flowed in that direction, we were left with some kind of stripey things. And I didn't expect it to have so many like lines of color, but I guess that makes sense because with it being tilted, every time we poured a color, it traveled and made room for the next one. So it didn't stack a whole lot. We kind of ended up with stripes. Another thing to note about this painting is how many, we have so many cool cells up here at the top, but not a lot going on near the bottom. And I don't know why that is. Maybe it was just the way the paint and the silicone landed, but I kind of wish that all these gorgeous cells were a little bit more throughout the entire painting rather than just the top half. I'll give you guys some nice up close shots of those cells out in the natural light. I do think it's a really beautiful painting like the colors are just super vibrant you know if you want to put it in your elementary school class <laughs> or a child's bedroom I just can't get the color scheme out of my head and we might have to try another tilted canvas for a different technique like maybe a ring pour or something but thank you all so much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I've got a whole bunch of stuff in the description box below if you are interested. There's links for my Instagram, my Facebook, and my PayPal account, as well as a list of all of the materials we used in this week's video if you would like to try to make something on your own. I'll see you guys all for the next video. Cheers!